Step-by-step -step AAC Wall Installation Guide Welcome to Roxhill AAC Wall Installation Video where we will be showing you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a moisture-resistant and crackless AAC wall. Step 1. Setting out Referring to the approved construction drawing, start by setting out the axis and grid lines using the laser alignment tool. Mark the lines using marking ink and snap the black grid line on the floor. Step 2. Application of damp proof cores. We use Roxel AEC Multitech. Pour part B powder in stages into the part A liquid polymer. Mix using mechanical mixer until you get the right consistency. Using a roller, apply the ready mixture generously onto the base of the floor slab, spreading evenly along the mark. Ensure to finish the entire mixture on the same day. Allow drying for 30 minutes before proceeding to the leveling course. Step 3. Leveling course. We are using rock seal AEC leveling filler. Pour part B silica sand and part A cement powder onto the floor. Mix the powder using a spade. Add water to the center of the powder mixture and mix from outside in. Keep adding more water until you get the right consistency. Lay the mixture onto the base mark with a brick trowel and spread evenly. After applying the leveling filler, you need to install rock seal U bracket onto the stiffener using the Hilti nail gun. This is to ensure support on the first cost of the block. Apply some leveling filler on the vertical side of the AAC block. Set the first block onto the leveling bed and the U bracket. Use a spirit level and rubber mallet to adjust the level of AAC block. Clear out the excess filler. Apply a line of Roxit AAC adhesive on the vertical joint of the AAC block. Carefully and firmly set the second block next to the first. Use a spirit level and rubber mallet to adjust the level of AAC block. Install the U-bracket for additional support and strength for every three AAC blocks horizontally. Keep repeating the process for the rest of the blocks. Following the measurements from the construction drawing, cut the AAC block to size that fits and completes each level of AAC block wall. Apply Roxil AAC leveling filler on one side of the block and rock seal AAC adhesive on the vertical joint. Fit in the sawn AAC block to place. Always ensure that the entire first layer of AAC block is even. Use spirit level and rubber mallet to adjust accordingly. If necessary, use a sanding block to smoothen the block's surface to require its flatness. Use a brush to clean the surface. After the first level of AAC block has been completed, it is important to let the AAC block level to cure for at least 24 hours. Step 4. Laying subsequent courses. Apply a continuous line of rock seal AAC adhesive throughout the horizontal surface of the first level of AAC block. Repeat the same process for laying the subsequent courses by applying the leveling filler and rock seal AAC adhesive on the sides of the block. 
apply Roxel AAC adhesive on a horizontal surface of each level. At all times, use spirit level to measure horizontal straight, horizontal flat, and vertical level. For every 5 levels of AAC block vertically, you need to install rod seal U-bracket for additional supports and strength. Continue with laying the subsequent courses until the AAC wall is complete. After laying all the AAC blocks, it is important to fill the gaps at the top of the wall. For this purpose, apply rock seal AAC leveling filler to close the gaps. Step 5. Water resistant AAC wall. After the AAC wall has been erected, the next step is to apply rock seal AAC water plug, which forms a breathable waterproof barrier over AAC block wall. Using a roller and spread the Roxil AAC water plug liquid evenly onto the whole surface of the wall. As a result, the AAC block wall is now water resistant. thus reducing problems such as water seepages or water penetration. Step 6. Finishing layer For this step, add water into the mixing tub. Start adding 50% of base B silica sand and 50% of base A cement powder. Then proceed to mix. Keep adding more water and repeat the steps for the rest of the powders. After the mixture reaches consistency, apply the mixture onto the AAC wall with putty knife. Ensure that the mixture is spread evenly for a smooth finish. After application and cure, repeat the same step with base A, base B and water. Mix to consistency and apply the mixture for the second coating. Allow to dry for one day before applying the final layer. To finish off, pour water into the mixing tub and add the finishing coat powder. Use a mechanical drill mixer to mix properly and homogeneously. Apply the finish coat over the base coats to finish off. Alternatively, you can also apply one thick base coat and finish with two layers of finished coats. For the external AAC wall, follow the same steps using Rocksteel AAC external render system.